mattress, put it in a can, in a can, they hide it on the ground, all that stuff, dig a hole in the ground. They still do some of that stuff, some of these dope boys still do it. Come out the, the uh, money, you know, you know, ride it up. But anyway, this is what this man had done. He went and put it in the ground instead of working. <coughs> working the money. That man is working on because he thinks it's his. It's not yours. Go ahead. 26. His Lord asked me, said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sow not and gather where I have not straw. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Go ahead. Thou always therefore to have put my money to the exchanges, and then at my coming, I should have received mine own with usury. He said, at least you could have took it somewhere and drawn some interest off of it. Get it to somebody who know what to do with it. Get it to somebody who know what to do with it. Instead of thinking that, oh, they don't know what to do with it and all this man. Get it to somebody who know what to do with it. Go ahead. 28. Take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which hath ten talents. Mm -hmm. For unto every one that hath that have shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he had. He gonna take it. Now he take a lot of stuff from people that don't know how they started from up here to down there. Keep going. Verse 30. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Where is that? The lake of fire. The lake of fire. <laughs> this is one example, man. We just talking about money. Because that's what traps a lot of people up. That's what makes that veil up on your mind. Just you forget about everything that you're supposed to be doing for the Lord. Because you're focusing on that. Let me show you what Jesus said about this money. So you'll understand that it will cloud your vision. Let's go to Revelation chapter 3. This thing for real, now. Right? I'm just giving you some examples here. Because you don't, you and I don't want to appear before the Lord naked. I don't want to appear before the naked me. I got all my sin out in the middle. Everything's out in the open. Who said that? John said that. I'm about to get it on my mind. But this is what the Lord said right here. He do not want stuff to be out in the open for our sake. Right. Revelation chapter 3 and 13. Let me show you here. This is the veil over people if they operate like this. Go ahead. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. We in the church, man. You got to hear it. A lot of people can't hear it. They got ears. Go ahead. And unto the angel of the church of Laodicea is right. These things said the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. Go ahead. I know thou works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that were cold or hot. God said you in between. You in between me. You just, you're dealing with these people that's under, under the veil. You're dealing with the uh, righteous people that doing what they're supposed to do. He, he can't deal with that. Either you're going to be 100 with him or you're going to be 100 with him. He's going to spew whoever straddles that fence out of his mouth. Go ahead. 16. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spoo thee out of my mouth. He goes to the angel, put him in that lake of fire. Put her in that lake of fire. Spew you out of his mouth. Now this is how you know that you got that veil on. This is how you know that you're naked. Go ahead. Because thou sayest I am rich and increase with goods yes, and have need of nothing. Mm -hmm. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. This is what that man had on. He, he didn't understand what was going on with the Lord and how he sees nakedness. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't understand. They think it, they read the Bible like they hear words. A lot of stuff is similar here in definition of the word. A lot of stuff is similar. You got to kind of look at the book and see how he defined his nakedness. He was naked with sin. Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse 18, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, uh -huh. that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. He said, the soul, the soul, the soul of your nakedness won't appear. I don't want to hear this stuff that the shame of my nakedness don't appear. We don't want that to appear. Whatever sin you're dealing with, ask God to help you. So it won't appear. So you can call it. Not in, under that veil of that sin. These people are under the veil of sin who thinking that they money.
they materialistic stuff. They draw strength in this stuff. And believe me, I know because I've been there and still sometimes go there and check myself and say, yo man, you can get your money taken away from you like that. What wrong with you? They can take it away just like that. At your own body. Joe got to take it away like that in the, the day. Did that make him sinful? No. It's just God sometimes, he's going to try you. He's going to see what's going on. See where your faith is. But a lot of people's minds don't think they can lose whatever they have. That veil is on. Go ahead. Let's go to 1 Timothy chapter 6. Uncover the veil, Lord, for me. Uncover it. 